Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we reviewed the much anticipated live action film of Disney's Mulan. Released to Disney's Plus streaming service in 2020 and to theaters where countries do not have the same service, Disney's Mulan is a live action film based on a classic animated film of the same name in 1998. The newest in the line of having the classics re-released in live action form, Mulan takes a different approach than the earlier films like Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and The Lion King. Mulan will take a more serious look at the culture of the era and will not have any songs from the animated original. The premise stays the same where China is being invaded by northern invaders and the emperor decrees that one man per family will serve in the imperial army. Since Mulan's father has no sons, he is forced to represent his family in battle. Although hurt from previous battles, he is unable to fight but will still do so for the honor of his family. Mulan, unable to let her father die in another war, takes her father's armor and sword and masquerades as a man, Hua Jun, in order to fight in her father's place. The film itself adds more action and choreographed martial arts to please the viewers who want to see more action, but also leaves the emotional and dramatic scenes behind. Best part of any film to any viewer is caring for the characters in the story. Whether it is action, drama, or comedy, we need to buy into the characters in the film to share their passion or ideals in understanding them. Throughout the film, character development was not prevalent at all. They focus on Mulan being true to herself and the idea of family. Not saying that it is a bad premise, but when you neglect the other characters, you feel that why are they even there? I felt that they were just extras put in for their namesake, but never developed them further. Even the love interest was confusing throughout the film. The writing and acting were lackluster at best, with the best scenes being the bonding between Mulan and her father. A huge fan of the original, I looked forward to specific scenes for dramatic effect, like when Mulan dresses up in her father's armor and leaves. The live action scene pales in comparison in its execution. The animated version was much more dramatic and done more than 20 years prior. You truly never get that powerful feeling in this live action film. The pro is the action. Although a film for families, the film does a wonderful job with its action throughout. The look and feel of the film just doesn't mesh together well as the pacing doesn't flow like the original. I do hate to compare, but this film tries to be so different and then also similar to the animated original, but it is lacking the powerful emotional content and not developing any of the characters really hurts. When I feel I know the main antagonist, Bori Khan, more than her teammates as afterthoughts, that's got to be a problem. Disney's Mulan gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its great choreographed action but struggles to tell a tale with lackluster writing and acting, virtually no character development, and missing those powerful and emotional scenes from the original. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn.